NVIDIA GOING ALL IN ON AI TODAY, ANNOUNCING A PARTNERSHIP WITH ADOBE TO CO-DEVELOP A NEW GENERATION OF ADVANCED MODEL CHIPS. CEO JENSEN HUANG CALLING THIS THE, QUOTE, IPHONE MOMENT OF AI. JIM Cramer SITTING DOWN WITH HUANG AFTER HIS EVENT. HERE'S WHAT HE HAD TO SAY. THE WORLD IS, is uh, ABSOLUTELY READY FOR THIS BECAUSE WE, we WANT more, MORE PRODUCTIVITY. WE WANT TO DO MORE WITH LESS. THERE ARE SOME MAJOR PROBLEMS THAT WE WOULD LIKE TO BE ABLE TO ATTACK WITHOUT, that without THE HELP OF AI WE CAN'T REALLY GET TO IT. FOR EXAMPLE, uh, we announced at GTC this platform called BioNemo, and it's an end-to-end -end system that, that includes uh, imaging systems, uh, everything from uh, accelerating cryo-EM, mass spec, um, x-ray crystallography. Be sure to catch the full interview, top of the hour on Mad Money. Um, here's the question, though. You can believe that NVIDIA is a ticket when it comes to the AI trade, but do you pay 60 times for the stock? Do you pay 60 times for the stock? 20 times revenue, 60 times forward earnings. I mean, that hasn't stopped people now for the sure. last 50 or $60. I mean, they're looking past all this. They think they're at the forefront. This is going to be the most, one of the five most important companies in the world. I get the whole thing. And forget about a trillion dollars. This is headed to a trillion and a half, two trillion dollar market cap. You hear that almost on a daily basis. I'll say this, though, over the last five years or so, you've seen some really lumpy quarters out of NVIDIA, both on the good side of the ledger and the bad side of the ledger. So as much as they're at the forefront here, my sense is they're getting a little above the, over their skis at these levels. Yeah, I tend to agree, but I still think it's a strong company. So if you kind of look at the price action, it's almost retraced that move back to the high. But as you mentioned, the multiple has expanded by about 10 turns. What I will say is a lot of that is attributable to the fact that people are looking forward and saying there's going to be some annual recurring revenue now. This is no longer just going to be a hardware, uh, a hardware company. And I think that changes the game. We talked about uh, resetting expectations around Apple and services and things of that nature. I think the same thing applies here.